Welcome back to King of Thieves, everybody. You've probably seen the new bases, but you don't want something like this. <laughs> Flawless, I mean, come on. <laughs> you want a good base, so here are three layouts for this base and they're all awesome. This one is really tough because it comes with the double sword jump. After we set the blood hound, you reset the blood hound again. Yeah, that's going to take a while, but it's good. Then you start the sword jump down there. This is a jump sequence, so please do it exactly like this. Then you reset the other blood hound and just do everything like before. <laughs> yeah, now that you know how to do it, that's no problem, right? <laughs> and then you just finish it like that. So here's how I did it. First you do that corner jump. This one is tough, but we'll come to that later. Then you reset the Bloodhound. Reset it again. And then you start with a very high jump. Jump as high as you can, delay that jump a bit. And then you drop off and land in the right spot to make that sword jump. Then quickly double tap with two fingers. And just do everything again. High jump, short delay, walk, drop down, do the sword jump. Yeah, I love that bit. <laughs> and then you just jump up like that. Okay, so you die, like in the very beginning, of course. Yeah, and then the sword jump. I uh, tried other ways, but you land in a different spot and then you can't do it. If you make it, this would be very stupid, so please don't do it. Yeah, and then when you repeat everything, I failed that one. And then I jumped a bit too late here and landed in a different spot and still couldn't do it. With Disable Trap it gets a little faster because you can reach the anti-gravity directly. But you still have to do the double sword jump. But no problem really. <laughs> yeah and well gang, I tried that first jump forever and I couldn't do it. So I think it's impossible with gang. What you'd usually do though is use both Gang and Disable Trap and get a few extra attempts for your sword jumps. You can't jump directly, I tried that. Yeah, then I failed the sword jump a couple of times, but that last guy here did it. And then I finished it. Base number two. This one is by Jim Bob, the leader of Dancing Unicorns. And this one is tough. Well, you have to do the water climb, but the toughest bit actually is that anti-gravity jump. Yeah, and then you try not to die on your way up and finish it like this. Well, I jumped here and almost failed. There's another way, but first of all, there are two markers on the map. First on the right, the shadow of that stone and then the end of that stone. So this is where I jumped. Well, I aim to jump on the left border of that stone, but there's always a bit of delay, and this is how you make it. Then you have to do that extra loop there. And this one is tough. This took me about an hour to figure out. And then I waited there, followed the bullets around, and did that last jump. But there are other ways. But first of all, you'll die a lot in the beginning. Then if you jump a bit too early or too late over there, you can't make the water climb, of course. You can't jump over directly, so you have to do the loop. Yeah, and if you fail it, you can't reach the anti-gravity any longer. And also, this happens a lot. So with this help trap, at least Red Guard is out of the game. And this jump here gets a lot easier. Then I jumped a bit earlier here, still had plenty of room. Jumped very late here and then did it. And with a door placement like this, gang is possible. So you just do it like before.
Only difference is I tried to jump early. I was getting impatient and then I died. So I had to do everything again. <laughs> this time I waited longer and then it worked. Yeah, and you can actually just drop down like this. Base number three, I recorded Knaller Space, but I've also seen it by Grauden. And this one is tough. Like, first of all, I hate the pit escape. Once you've done that, there's still the hard bit. This took me five hours to beat. <laughs> so he jumped very high again, and then I did that axle loop. Knaller told me he didn't need that, but I didn't have the patience to try something else. So here's how I did it. I waited for the red guard to change directions, jump slightly after that, jump slightly above the ground, walk slightly, and this is how I made it. You actually get the hang of that over time. I sometimes did it three times in a row. Then you wait for that bullet to reach this spot, jump very high, do a very short slide there, jump halfway late right there, then halfway laid down there. And then very, very, very late there. You almost slide off. And this is how we make this jump. If your timing is right. Here's how we die. Like that first bit is already tough. If you jump a bit too early, or if you don't walk down there, or if you're too late, you just can't make it. And then for those guys, right here I jumped at the right moment. But then I jumped too early there. And also way too early right there. And here my timing was off. With Disable Trap, at least the first bit gets a lot easier. And in case you want not, can't jump directly into the chest. I tried it. <laughs> Then, waiting for that bullet again, here it comes. And, well, then I just did it like before. Did the loop here, slid very long, and then I did it. And with gang, it gets messy. First of all, you can't see a thing down there, so usually all of you guys die. Then let the soul survive, and he just does it like before. Yeah, and then that last bit. So after the water sink, they both move down, they both move up, then they cross twice, and this is when you jump. Yeah, and then I did the extra loop here, looking well. Then I tried to jump very light again, and failed. <laughs> anyway, thanks to everyone for these great layouts. This took me 16 hours to record and edit, so maybe subscribe? Thanks, see ya.